Today I'm going to teach you how to memorize a speech word for word. Now I don't usually recommend learning something like this. Usually I believe you're better being a bit more spontaneous and having bullet points for presentations. However, there are some occasions where we need to learn things off by heart, where we need to learn things word by word. If you found yourself in one of those situations, then this video is for you. My name is Kyle Murter. I help people speak with more confidence and impact. And before we get into how to memorize a speech, let's first talk about when you should memorize a speech. You should only memorize a speech when, number one, you need to get every word correct. Now that could be for a website promo video, it could be for a 60 second pitch, it could be for a competition speech. Second, only memorize when it's a short presentation. If your presentation is longer than 10 minutes, don't even bother trying to memorize. You'll just give yourself a sore head. So it has to be 10 minutes or less. And then number three, you need to have plenty of time because it takes time to fully internalize the words of your presentation. So if you do not have all three of these things, then don't even bother trying to memorize. But if you do, then we're gonna get into exactly how to go about it. Okay, so there are four steps to memorizing a speech. Step number one is to write it out. Write out your entire presentation word for word, exactly how you want to say it. For example, here is a script that I've created for a video that I want to put on my website. And I've literally wrote this script exactly how I plan to say it in the video, word by word. What I would recommend for this stage is when you are writing your script, try and make your language as conversational as possible. You see, many people fall into the trap of writing differently from how they speak. They'll say things like furthermore instead of also. And that makes them sound more robotic, it makes their presentation sound scripted, it makes their presentation sound cold. It's less conversational. So you want to try and keep your conversational language in your script. So once you've written out or typed up your final script, you can then move on to step two, which is all about dividing and reading your script. So we want to divide our script up into different parts so that we can begin to learn it more easily. For example, here is my video script divided up. Now this is promoting my team training public speaking services. And basically what I've done is I've highlighted my introduction, my hook, in yellow. And I've also highlighted my conclusion in yellow. I've divided up those two parts. I've highlighted this part here which describes a questionnaire that I send out to teams before they come on my course in blue and I've also put the follow-up questionnaire in blue too. And then the middle part where I'm describing how I will do a course based around their team's needs and wants and how I'll give their team a chance to practice and get feedback, all of that is in green. So I've basically divided my script up into five different parts. This helps create an image in your mind which will help internalize your script. And I would recommend reading it through out loud quite a number of times at this stage, just so that you absorb the words as much as possible before you put the notes down. And that leads me nicely on to step number three. Practice without notes. Now do not try and regurgitate your script on day one. Instead, you want to try and learn it one part at a time. For example, on day one, I might just try and learn the introduction of my script. I might just practice those 37 words. And once I become comfortable with those 37 words, once I can say them without sounding like a robot and without looking at my notes, then I'll look to learn the next part of my script on day two. So on day two, I will learn this part here about the questionnaire, and then I'll put it all together. I'll try and practice part one and part two without any notes. 
And I'll continue this process of learning one part and then learning another part, putting it together until I've got the entire script together and I'm able to say it without looking at notes or again, sounding robotic. And this is why I say it takes time. It might take you a full three days to fully internalize a 60 second speech. It might take you two weeks to fully memorize a 10 minute speech. You need time to absorb the words. It's not going to come immediately, but it will come if you dedicate the time. And then we can move on to the fourth and final step. Mix up the order. So let's imagine that you've internalized your entire script. What you can now do is practice it in the wrong order. So for instance, maybe you'll start with your conclusion and then maybe you'll jump to the middle and then maybe you'll jump to your second point and then maybe you'll jump to your fourth point and then maybe you'll hop back to the very beginning. And the benefit of practicing out of order is it helps you remain composed no matter what happens in your presentation. Let's say someone interrupts you with a question or your PowerPoint fails or something goes wrong, you'll be less likely to go off track because you have the knowledge that no matter where you begin your presentation from, you know those words, they're internalized, you know them off by heart. So those are the four steps to memorizing your speech. I'd love to hear what tips you have for memorizing presentations. Please type them in the comments below and also subscribe to this channel if you do want to improve your speaking skills because every week I'm bringing out new videos. In the meantime, if you still don't feel confident to deliver a presentation without notes, then check out this video on how to use notes effectively while speaking. I'll see you in the next one.